Hey, happy Friday everybody, what's up? And today I wanna to show you a little bit of what a death pile really looks like. You guys probably saw the thumbnail and the title. So my guess is we have in the neighborhood of $10,000 plus in unlisted inventory. Now, fourth quarter's coming up in about a month time where uh, tomorrow's the 1st of September and so we got you know October 1st is your official beginning of fourth quarter and I want to have as much stuff listed and liquidated as possible so I can use this money to replace it with better inventory so this is kind of all the stuff that got pushed to the side pushed in the back pushed in the uh, the inventory room the to list pile and the reason it probably did now I'm not saying everything but most of it is because it probably wasn't the best inventory it was mistakes it's this that it's not that it's not sellable inventory, it just wasn't the best inventory. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of our organization and our thinking and our process. And shout out to Katie and Victoria, I'll link their video down below. They helped a uh, nice young lady do this out in Vegas just last week or about two weeks ago. And um, it really inspired me to do it with my inventory because I have a ton of stuff here and it's just money sitting. It's literally money sitting. If everything at a snap of a finger was listed on eBay, organized, set in lots, set in individual um, listings, I guarantee in the next 30 days I could probably do at least 7500 maybe up to $10,000 in sales on this stuff. So let me take you around and show you a little bit of this fantastic, we'll call it a death room now. Okay, so box number one, this was literally buried in our room. This is full of um, PlayStation 1 games that I bought a while ago in bulk. I mean, we're talking everything from Siphon Filter to Ace Combat to Ten Pin Alley, sports games, Cool Borders. There's mix of hundreds of games, NBA games, Madden games. Um, this game is in there, Crash Team Racing. Uh, we just counted there's about 200 video games in here now some of these aren't going to be sellable But I could certainly put these in lots There's a couple hundred dollars worth of inventory just in this one box now I bought this box in a huge bulk and I already made the money back on the good games like the really good expensive games The RPGs and all that so this box just got pushed to the back But it's solid inventory and this is what happens whenever I tell you guys about oh we have a we have a visitor Hey chewy bear um, he's looking and observing. I took up all of his space. Sorry, buddy. So, um, this is what happens when I buy a ton of inventory and I make my money and I tell you guys, build the inventory because eventually you're just going to have a lot of stuff that you can sell that's all profit. Um, you should be more disciplined than me though and you should get all this up as soon as you get it and it should never build up like this, but hey, it happens to the best of us. Okay, so there's a look at everything and this isn't even half. We have more in the other room. I can't even begin to tell you. Look. So that's our inventory room over there. So here we go again. This is more video games, Xbox, Xbox 360, some Xbox One, PS3, uh, some Genesis. There's uh, you know more money in here, video game wise. We have five bins. Look, one, two, three, four, five bins of unlisted jeans. There's gotta be 20, 30 pair of jeans in each of these bins. Um, that we have that have just been piling up and so you know five bins there's a hundred pair of jeans there Even if half of them sell 50 pair at five bucks a piece. There's 250 plus the video games You know 300 350 plus the box that I just showed you just in that little pile is $500 worth of inventory that could be listed and then Over here we have three more bins of clothing random assorted clothing that has to be gone through another one of jeans actually we're up to six, seven hundred dollars, and we haven't even begun to touch on everything else that I have. We have four IKEA bags of clothes, a garbage bag, two Walmart bags, and that's just the clothing here. So at least another five hundred. I mean, we're talking a couple thousand dollars worth of clothes and video games in these two piles. So now, as we move to the other side of it, we've got boxes of electronics and tablets. There's several couple thousand dollars worth of tablets, broken, uh, assorted accessories. This is death pile 101. I can't explain to you how this happened, but this is literally our normal fourth quarter routine over the course of the year. We collect up things that just build and build and build. And I'll show you guys if I can find it. Yep, here you go. Here, if you remember at the beginning of the year, I told you guys I bought thousands of postcards back in the day. We have eight boxes of these. And every time I liquidate a box of them, I usually make 100, 150 bucks. Another thousand dollars worth of inventory and postcards. Just add it up. So as I come down here, we have another bin that has unsorted clothing in it. 
and then two more bins of sorted clothing that have to be listed. Even if you're just saying there's 50 to to $100 per bin, you're talking about 200 bucks worth of um, inventory in three bins. There's another one down there. I mean, it's incredible. We've dug this all out. We'll get it sorted over the weekend. We'll get a pile of donation stuff, which I always donate to get the tax write off. A uh, pile of lists on eBay individually and a pile of lists on eBay as lots. You know, maybe we have the same size jeans, size 10s, we put them in lots. We'll figure it all out and then we may put together a pile to have like a once a year yard sale or something, make like a thousand bucks. A thousand bucks, a thousand bucks, it's all profit. It goes into your, um, your accounting is a thousand dollars in sales and of course you've already put it in as cost of goods because you bought it a long time ago uh, as a purchase and now it's going to go out as cost of goods sold once it's sold so your thousand dollars may only end up being a tiny tiny bit of of cost you may only have 50 bucks in it you make a huge profit in one weekend so just a little inspiration we all have death piles some of us have death rooms um and remember this is all unlisted none of this is listed on ebay this is easily like I said, a very low minimum, five or 6,000. My guess is it's more like 7,500 to 10,000 if we got everything listed. Um, the tablets alone are probably 1,000 or more worth of, um, 1,500 worth of inventory. I've got you know more um, video games in here. Uh, I got a couple phones that are, are from personal people that I know are safe to sell. Um, you know, even these two Galaxy Notes and Galaxy things, this is a couple hundred dollars worth of phones right here. Um, a nice baseball glove that's probably worth about 20 bucks. There's just inventory over inventory over inventory. So don't get discouraged. The moral of the story is dig it out, make a plan, take a week in the get free, clear the death pile, clear the death room if you have it. Look at this guy, he's awesome. And uh, turn your, um, your inventory, your bad inventory into cash to use for good fourth quarter inventory. I'm pretty sure all of you have at least a few hundred dollars uh, worth of inventory you could sell. So everyone that says they don't have any capital to buy with, I'm certain you all have 500 to a thousand dollars that you could dig out. I've got radios, I've got a whole nother box of video games and electronics, Nintendo 3DS cases. This is just all stuff that I've built up over the year. So this is what you need to do. I tend to do this on purpose, call it my savings account, my savings inventory account for selling off to have money to buy with. Now I have money to buy inventory with, but this allows me not to spend any out of my own pocket. So, and clear out the room, clear out the inventory, make some sales, everything will be good. So this is what we got ahead of us for the next um, couple of weeks. Weekend to clean, week or two to list. Enjoy your weekend, guys. Enjoy your Friday. Don't get discouraged. Make some, uh, make some dents in that inventory and that, that death room and that, we call it an anxiety room in case anyone wants a good moniker to put on it. Uh, thank you guys also for all the support over the last 48 hours. Really appreciate that. I know most of you um, know about it, understand it, and have enough common sense to support me. So thank you for continuing to be here. I've seen the numbers, I see the views and the subscribers going up, so that shows me that you guys are as awesome as I believe you guys are. So I'll see you on Saturday, that's tomorrow. If it doesn't rain, we'll try to get some yard sale footage. It's supposed to rain though, so don't hold our breath. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It's real important. Hit that subscribe button. If you were subscribed, make sure you still are subscribed because sometimes YouTube kicks you off. And if you have any questions, my email's down below if you want to join the VIP group. If you want to buy any guides, if you want to be a part of anything, you guys know how to get a hold of me. I'll see you again next time.